And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Starfield, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. is for indulgence and decadence. Disgusted. Say, for every five credits Benjamin Bayou spent on Neon, four went to the Astral Lounge. I'm in town for business. My client leaves a mess, I clean it up. I'm an independent contractor, working for some very wealthy clients. They open deals, I close them. There might be. I originally came here to complete a business deal, but the client, in a fit of foolishness, decided to close on their own. Rather than dispose of the evidence properly, they left it in a warehouse. Real amateur stuff. So there are some loose ends that need tying, and I prefer a third party handle it. Would you be interested? Cheers. We'll split my rate 50-50. For a job like this, I'm being more than generous. You'll find the merchandise in a locker in the warehouse behind Neon Tactical. Gangs in Ebside often use that area to peddle their sunshine and lollipops, so if shit's pagaru, you'll have to improvise. Once you secure the merchandise, sell it to Coleman Lang at the Trade Authority, so it's part of their regular inventory. Return here when the job is done.
looking at. Making a fortune if they'd had us fish for cousin. Stand there, or do you have something to say? Something? Hmm. Not a bad gun. Good balance. Weight. Allied Armaments is a UC company, but their stuff is military grade. But that is not the issue here. That gun is hotter than a frying pan full of fish grease. I'm not giving you anywhere near market rate. Should have known better than to try and fool a weapons expert. All right, I'll pay you what it's worth. But only because I know for a fact NSEC won't come looking for it. All right, buzz off. Busy. Yeah, everything for all your daily adventures. Don't worry, I'll be for causing trouble. Galvin, your credits are fire on their mark in the middle of a... My client can finally relax. He's a very tense man, you see. Tried to smile once, years ago, and didn't like the fit. But I digress. Here's your payment, as promised. Enjoy the rest of your time here in Neil. Yes, but I never work with the same client twice. Call it a personal role. Yes, but I never work with the same client twice. Call it a personal role. May we live in interesting times.
is all a bit more legal now, I suppose, but hardly more civilized. May fortune smile on you, but the red mile is not for the weak. Good. Very well then. Then you're on your own. Use whatever tools necessary to survive. Run to the beacon and activate it. Then make it back here for your prize. For what it's worth. I okay, hello.
triumphant. Your accomplishments continue to make our guests a lot of credits. At least, those who make the right bets. A successful win demands my appreciation. Please, take your reward. You've certainly earned it. Yes? So, why did you drag me in here? We sell you only the finest boots for the discerning nice for customer. Friends, so here we <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive tastes. <laughs> there's expensive, and then there's the Emporium. This place is in a class all by itself. Yeah, I guess. Take a look around. If you find something, I'll help you out, okay? Oh, my apologies, then. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how. 
I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. Well, I believe every individual should know how to defend themselves. In this particular case, that course of action seems ill-advised. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Exquisite goods for discerning tastes. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. You should have seen the look. No problem.
Thanks for stopping by our shop. I have credits to spend. You lost, kiddo. Sure, sure. I just don't get too many quality customers here. Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others are just kids up to no good. Yeah, well, make it quick. I ain't a fan of loitering. I had some high hopes for this shop back when my husband and I opened it a while back. These days, if you ain't a regular, you're usually trouble. And live in a UC? No thanks. Besides, I ain't about to let a few undesirables chase me away from what I've built here. Never heard of them. Now, are you gonna buy something or just annoy me all day? Well, now that I know you're serious, we can talk business. Yeah, I know Headlock can't stand them. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? Hmm. Well, if any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. Gotta ask, what are you gonna do with them? <laughs> You're every bit of thug that Headlock is. I'm done talking with you. You have your info, and I have a shop to run, so either be. Hopefully it's something you need. Come again. Funny business. 
And who do we have here? You here for business, or to get your head caved in? Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole Syndicate, and that won't end well for you. Hmm. The Ebside Strikers. I ran with them for a good long while, but then it just became embarrassing. I couldn't even feed myself when I was with them. I clawed myself out of the gutter, and Sioka took notice. My talents were being squandered with the Strikers. I was too good for them. Oh, so you think you're funny, huh? Keep talking like that, and I'll make sure you're eating trawl through a tube. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. Ah, <sighs> looking over your shoulder in neon can get old. I don't think things would be that extreme, but I guess I get your point. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine. We won't go around to the Emporium any longer. Whatever. Next time, I might not be so nice. Don't try anything. You're dead. I'm not one to get involved with the rubble, so I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. It was good to have you in my shop. Farewell. Kinetics isn't the only game in town, you know. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just... My store, my rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um... Complaints department. <laughs> See, now, you're just getting technophobic, and that's gonna hurt his feelings. <sighs> you know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal.
You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. I appreciate the offer, but it isn't about the money. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell from the upper platform. Since I had a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside. Took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. I know you'll be surprised, but thanks to my sparkling personality, I don't exactly have the easiest time making friends. That means I spend a lot of time talking to sticks and Mahalay robots. They're not really programmed for casual conversation. The net result is I end up talking to a machine and looking like I'm out of my mind. <laughs> Hell, maybe I am. You're in luck. You know, Sticks, crime in this city gets worse by the day. Vans, thieves. Hello, excellent. Need to see what... I appreciate our little discussions. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.